What is up, YouTube? This is Mighty Fan again. Got another episode of In the Life of Mighty Fan, the life of a collector. So, um, a couple things to touch on on this vid. Um, you know, a couple things was missed out, a couple things added. I'm waiting on something in the mail that I just ordered yesterday. So, it's probably going to get to me at some point next week. And I'll talk about that. I'll also talk about some of the things that did get away. I'm also going to talk about, you know, decision making and how difficult it is sometimes when you have to work with a, you know, trying to manage a budget and how difficult it can be. I've always said that collecting is a, is, a, is a great thing to do. Anybody can do it, but it's really a mentality that you have to have that can be very difficult for some uh, to deal with the finance, the financial part of it. Cause you do, you, you have to spend money when you collect, you know, it doesn't matter what you're collecting, you know, money's going to get, going to get involved, you know, and, and if you're not careful, you're going to get yourself in trouble with it. And I know all of us collectors, are, you know, us old heads who have been doing this for years, we can tell you the stories, you know, um, some worse than others, but it's, it's a balancing act. I've always said that, you know, and it's about things that, you know, particularly for certain of these jerseys or even hats, you know, you're talking about some pretty penny for some of them. And it's, you know, it gets to be tough, you know, and then you have to kind of balance that with life. You know, you have to pay your bills if you own a, 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 a place of living, you know, car vehicle bills if you have a vehicle or, you know, food and, you know, just everyday living. You know, it's a big, it's a big line that you have, it's a tightrope that you have to walk. I always think of that movie uh, where you have the, uh, 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 the trapeze artist walking between the two World Trade Centers, you know, the towers rather, the world of the World Trade Center, the two towers, you know, because it is, it's a tightrope you have to walk and it's very dangerous at times. And, um, you know, it's a, it, it, it is, it, it could be really, it could be adventurous at times. And I kind of got myself in a little bit of a funk, you know, and I got to, you know, I got to do better, you know, and I, you know, made a commitment for this, you know, one of the, the re resolution, you know, one of the, those New Year's resolutions to do better financially so that I don't have to worry about bills. You know, I don't want to worry about the, the, the utility bills that I have to pay every month. And I don't have to worry about, you know, whatever bills are going to pop up. And yeah, it got kind of interesting. The holidays were, um, yeah, <laughs> holiday, the holidays, uh, you know, you don't even realize you're doing it. You just, you, you don't realize how much you've done until you see that, that final bill. And it's like, uh, what the hell, you know? So I've committed myself to do, to do less per month, but still be able to get some good things, but do less, you know? And even dealing with the Mitchell and Ness sale next week, the week of the Super Bowl, you know, um, that's a that's always been an important sale for me. That's always been one that I look forward to. Uh, for a long time, it was the sale that was always there. The store, and I'm talking about the, the flagship store, the, you know, the brick and mortar store, their biggest sale of the year, because they used to do 50% every year. And it was the whole week, you know, leading up to the Super Bowl. In the recent years, they kind of, you know, dulled it down. It was like 40%. So I think last year was like 30%, which was like, it's your big sale, guys. Let's, you know, what are we doing? <laughs> right? And I know it's it, hey, it's upper management. It, it is what it is, right? Nothing we can do about it as a consumer. Um, but, you know, yeah. I mean, so that sale really is kind of, in a way, it's kind of merged in with the other sales. And anymore, they, they do what they never used to do. They, they never used to have flash sales at the store like in, on the website you know you would catch a deal here and there but at the store their big ones a year was the week of the super bowl father's day and black friday like across the board those were the those were the times that you know if you were like me going to the store you would look forward to those three because you know that that that's their sales okay we you know grab some stuff that normally couldn't get right so obviously now things have changed you know, the, the, the stock has gone up, you know, whatever. They're making all these different things that they never made back in the day. They didn't have Swingman jerseys. They didn't have fashion jerseys. They didn't have all those various shirts. And they always had hats and jerseys and jackets. But, they, you know, all the stuff that they kind of brand. They're doing sneakers now, right? So 
they they have really delved into many different uh, avenues, and it's done really good for them. They they're making a lot of money, even as us jersey heads complain about oh they're making too many swingman jerseys and enough authentics. That company makes money hand over fist, you know. And I'm gonna get more into that as I drive along here, but you know. Um, Anymore, they do all these different pop-up deals, 40% here, 30% there, you know? So you don't have to kind of be a slave to these just three sales a year. That's it, right? Now they're giving you many different options throughout the year. I mean, they, you know, you just have to follow them on social media, on, on Instagram, Twitter, you know, stuff like that. And, and they always post, oh, we're going to do this. And if you're on, you know, the email list for the website, obviously, you get the email. Hey, 30%, you know, insiders, you know, or whatever. And they give you a code. Now, obviously, as we know, the, the Harrow, you know, the, the Harrowy situations with those is that they exclude just about half the site <laughs> for those sales. All the new releases that have been new releases for like a year is excluded. And then they'll throw more stuff in the new release stuff so that stuff gets excluded, right? And as we know, Jordan, Kobe, you know, the usual suspects are always excluded. doesn't matter what the sale is. It is what it is, right? But at the same time, they're doing more. And if it's not just Mitchell and Ness now, it's the stuff on Fanatics. You can catch sales on the Mitchell and Ness product on Fanatics. I mean, you know, all these other different avenues that sell Mitchell Ness product, they all have sales. So what used to be kind of felt more exclusive with these sales has become more of the norm, you know? Like Doug Peterson said after the Eagles won the Super Bowl, this is the new norm. It's the new norm, you know? And, and, and they're having sales. Like they just had, what, 40% like a week ago. I didn't take advantage of it. I know others did. I didn't. But... I say, I say that long about way to get to this. So, I, you know, hey, last time I did a video for the uh, In The Life series, I was all gung-ho. Oh, you know, the sale's coming. I'm going to... I just said I'm not going to grab any jerseys for this sale because, A, it, you know, it, it's a little money saved. B, it's... They don't have the ones that I want most. I know they don't have that Natron Means 94 uh, Chargers with the 75th logo. They don't have, I believe, the 91 Barry Sanders with that, uh, you know, the um, that 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 logo they have on the on the front, the patch, the m memorial on there, uh, and you know, so I'm like, you know, does it make sense, in a way, to grab just to grab, you know, just because it's a sale, you know? There were times I used to do that. And then, you know, you would get deeper into your, into my billing cycle and you would see what has been sent to, has been spent to that point. It's like, damn, man, how to get that high? You know, how to get to that level? Well, it got to that level because I was, you know, getting stuff that, hey, maybe I could have hold off on a little bit, but it was a sale. It's a sale. That big word, that, that big four letter word, right? Sale. So you learn over the years, hey, you know what? You learn from the mistakes. Mistakes were made back in the day I'm trying not to make now, right? You, 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 you know, it's it, it's like playing a sport. You got to get better, right? You get better over time. Collecting is the same way. You get better over time. You learn. And you learn how, okay, if I don't grab this right away. And my mentality is, listen, I've always said this, and this isn't something that I, I could completely change about myself. In fact, I did it last night. My mentality is, you know, hey, if I don't get this, it's going to be gone. And, and, and particularly these days, particularly with the hats, as you know, you know, you don't get a hat right, it's gone. You know, they're, 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 they last, you know, very, very, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, briefly on some of these sites, right? These, these, the, I call them the, 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 the minute drops. They're there, they're gone. You know, I don't even bother with a lot of them because I know it's like, well, it's not worth the aggravation. I'm going to get on there. I don't have the fast fingers as some people do. I'm, you know, put it in the cart, boom, boom. And I'm going to get upset. <laughs> you know, I don't want to keep getting upset over something I have a passion for. Right? So, yeah, I mean, it's tough, man. It, it, it's the most difficult thing because my mentality is still in that, in that, in that realm of if I don't get this now, it's going to be gone. Oh, what am I going to do? I really want this, right? And I've missed out on stuff plenty of times. So you can never get everything. And I know you see our videos, you see all the stuff we get. It might seem that way. We can't, no one can get everything. 
it's impossible. It's an impossibility. You don't have enough money, you know, to get everything that you really want to get. But you can get a few things and spread it out and try your, you know, your best. If you can't get it right then, maybe, you know, that's something I still have to get better at, you know. And I'm trying, and it's hard because it's, it, it, it's the oldest issue with me, and it's going to continue to be that way, you know. It's going to continue because the mentality is, it's there. I want to grab it, otherwise I miss out, and oh, then I'm going to see other people with it. This is a jersey I really wanted, and then doop, 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 here they start coming on the site, and that makes it worse. You know, when you start seeing others in the community, in the, in the Jersey Head community, right, the Facebook groups start posting the pickup and it's that Jersey that you really want and you couldn't move on it right away. And then it was gone in your size, right? That's the toughest thing to do, but you gotta learn. If it's not time, it's not time. And and, and I've also, I, I you know, I know it's kind of a, a, you know, I'm kind of speaking on both sides here, but I have learned that, listen, if I can't get this right away, eventually maybe it can happen. There's secondary markets, maybe maybe grab it, you know, and it's happened many a time where I don't get something and then it hits eBay or Macari or someone in the groups is selling it, you know, and I'm able to grab it then. It doesn't always work that way, but it, it's happened on, on numerous occasions. So I can kind of fall back on that, but the mentality is still there. The mentality is still there though this is available and i want to grab it you know otherwise i'm going to miss it i'm going to feel a certain way you know that's just that it, it's hard it's hard to shake that and i'm trying my best to do that and i've done it for certain things and other things i just hey you know it, I, I have to move on it I, I you know i know um so last night there shout to the to, to the um to, to to uh to the group shout to to mac you know, the, those Phoenix Suns Valley City Edition jerseys became more in, st uh, in stock on one particular site. I forget the name of the site. Um, and everyone was going after, right, the, because they had the authentic Devin Booker. And I know there's been some horror stories with the orders getting canceled or whatever. I know some, uh, uh, um, you know, one of the content creators here on YouTube uh, does a great job. I'm blanking on his name. I really apologize about that. Um, does all the jersey reviews and everything, and it tells you where to get the jerseys. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I I love his stuff. I just, I love his videos. I'm just blanking on the name right now. Um, but um, so he he said he got two Devin Booker jerseys, and the order got canceled because he got two. All right, because they, they, this site kind of tries to stop the uh, the resale. Right, they want and look. I, hey, I commend them for it. They want people to get the jersey. Who wants the jersey to have and enjoy and wear, right? Because you have a lot of flippers out there. You have a lot, particularly for jerseys like that. They're rare, hard to get. They sold out real quick last year when they were first available, and now everyone wants them, right? Particularly if the Suns made that finals run last year. You see everyone wearing those jerseys, right? So, so what happened was this particular site got the. Uh, Got it. Got got. A, I guess a reshipment of them, and they sold real quick. I saw it when it was available, but see, I really wasn't looking for a Devin Booker. More so, I was looking for a Chris Paul. You know, I've always kind of liked Chris Paul. I have a, you know, good amount of his jerseys, primarily his Hornets jerseys, but I got some other ones. And the Valley jersey is one of those that I wanted to get for Chris Paul. You know, I felt bad I couldn't get you know some of his Thunder jerseys, you know, whatnot some years ago. Speaking of ones I didn't get, right? But I wanted the Valley jersey because it's a hot jersey. I mean, it's Chris Paul, you know, you know, I want that jersey. To me, it didn't matter if the jersey was authentic or the swingman. It, it really didn't. I just wanted the jersey. And I'm going to speak a little more on that, uh, you know, the swingman topic and authentics and this and that. So I had the availability to grab a swingman Chris Paul in the Valley style. Uh, they had it in my size last night and then I, I wasn't going to do it right away but then I got a little nervous because now everyone's I saw in the groups everyone started talking oh this site look at this look. and it's like mm. you know I couldn't get it last year because it sold out too quick I didn't think it was going to sell out that quick I didn't move on it right away and it was one of the quickest you know city edition jerseys to sell out right here's my second chance at it I don't want to let it go you know I'm able to get it I'm doing okay financially. I'm going to grab it. So I made the decision. Look, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait another day or two. I'm just going to grab it. Bingo, bongo, it's done, right? So that's what I did. So eventually that will come in the mail. And I'm happy I was able to get it. But there again is that mentality, right? There again is that 
Yeah, you know, I, man, I, I, I would like to get this. You know, I'm going out tomorrow to the mall. I want to see what's there. Maybe then after, you know, get it. I don't know. It's a weird kind of logic for me, but that's the logic. But then, you know, hearing all, you know, I, we did a live last night on the uh, Kings of Throwback groups with Snacks, shout out to Snacks. Um, and people, it, it just became a big topic of conversation. And I just went right back to the site and I bought it. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, all the Jersey heads are going up. And I know most of them are looking for the authentic, and those were already sold out. But I'm like, I don't want to miss this Chris Paul Valley jersey, you know, Swingman or whatever. I just, I want the thing. I want the thing. So I just grabbed it, you know. Um, maybe if I was in a worse state, I probably wouldn't have. And I would have missed out on it again. It would have been the second time I would have missed out on that jersey. But thankfully, I was, you know, I'm doing okay, you know, not, not going as crazy. <laughs> So with with jerseys and whatnot this cycle, so billing cycle, so I was able to grab it. It's a good feeling. You know, it's nice to say, okay, I was able to do this, you know. But there are other things I have to miss out on. You know, I all right, because I got that, now I'm not gonna go after this or that. That's just the decision making. That's that's what I chose. You know, and that's what it is. But getting back to the longabout way, but getting back to the Mitchell Ness sale, I'm not gonna go after jerseys. I'm gonna go after hats. There's a lot of hats that I want for Mitchell and Ness, and I don't, I don't know exactly how many I'm going to grab, maybe just a few, but I'm going to go there. I, I never thought I would see the day. This is me, okay? I never thought I would see the day where I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the Mitchell Ness store for a sale, and I'm going to come get hats. <laughs> this is two straight sales, right? Last year's uh, Black Friday sale. And now this year for the whatever they're going to call the sale next week that I didn't get a jersey. But you know what? It's okay because there's plenty of other options to get jerseys. You know, I never had that mentality before. You know, back then, like all these years, just Mitchell Ness having a sale. I want to get jerseys, right? Mitchell Ness jerseys, whatever. These are the ones, right? And now, right, last two sales, including the one that's next week, I'm going there looking for hats. <laughs> That doesn't mean I don't love the jersey game. I still have great passion for it. You see what I'm wearing right now, right? This is not going to go away. But this is me saying, listen, I can I can save a little money. Let me just grab a couple hats. They're cheaper. They're going to be even cheaper because they're sale. There's still something I want to get. And then I can put that saved, you know, for the next couple, you know, billing, whatever. Get a few other things outside of Mitchell and Ness. Maybe get a couple hockey jerseys. Maybe get a you know, some other jerseys that I've been hoping to get, right? Some older run Mitchell and Ness jerseys on eBay, right? Over the next few months. Instead of saying, okay, I'm just going to grab this just because there's a sale. I'm going to save a little bit. I'm going to get something that might be a little better. And I'm saying this even if they had the Natron Means and the Barry Sanders jersey, I probably still wouldn't have grabbed them just because. I mean, no, you know, you can only do so much, you know? Um, now, those are jerseys I hope to get at some point. You know, might not be this coming week. But maybe down the road, maybe some someone throws up that 91 Sanders on eBay for a good deal, and I grab it there, or the store restocks him some point, and I get it from there. The Natron means same thing. It hits, you know, it's on Fanatics. Fanatics does a sale sometime. I grab it. You know, I, I, there are times that I'm like, I need this jersey, like last night with the Chris Paul, because I knew. I already missed on it once. I didn't want to do it again. And then there's times that are like, you know, I want this. But let me wait just a little bit. Let let, let 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 me be let me be better for right now. For for the now and not grab it and then grab it maybe down the road a little bit. And I, like I said, it's it's a tight wire, wire wire walk that you're doing. And it's really this like the angel and demon. And you're constantly fighting with it, but that's what it is. That's that's the hardest thing about this. That's the hardest thing that you have to try to learn how to do being a collector. Because it is, you're going to miss things, and that's a tough thing. That's a tough thing. You know, just this week, I made a mistake. Uh, uh, last week, there was a there was a collection that came out from uh, New Era. I think they call it like the Wild Collection or whatever, and it had a tiger print in on the inside of the you know on the inside of the hat, and the logo is all baseball. The logo for the MLB teams were like in some sort of tiger looking print, right? So the Phillies one. Now I looked at it on the website. And I feel like such an idiot. I didn't see this. I looked at it on the website, and I'm thinking Tiger. 
because the inside it's tiger print everything like it, it's all tiger like i'm just thinking tiger i thought the tiger's hat would be kind of cool to get because tiger print tigers i didn't but i thought you know of, of that set that would be the one that would be kind of cool to have right so here we are about a week later one of the members in our new, new era society big john shout out to big john Phil, philly native fellow philly guy he gets all the Phillies hats. So he posted it on the site, on, on the group rather, and on his IG. And he and he's showing it in hand, right? So you see a real good look at it. It's the Phillies one. It has the old fat P on there with the 1980 World Series side patch. And he's showing it. And he writes in and, and, and he writes, you know, he has the pictures and he writes, you know, that, that P kind of looks like a foxtail. And I'm like, ah oh, damn it does. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see you know me right I'm, I'm a that, right that's one of my favorite animals I'm a fox guy right I'm the mole fox of all people I didn't get that Philly set that look the, 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 the Philly P looks like a I have no idea how I didn't see it when I looked at it on New Era but just because everything else is tiger it has a tiger print I'm, I'm thinking tiger I'm not thinking fox right so there, that so I kind of got you know you get fooled, <laughs> but he shows that pic and sure sure enough I'm like oh hell, and of course I go right on to the newer and it's the only hat that sold out of that whole set, the Phillies is the only one that sold out, son of a bitch, right I'm like oh come on no no yeah I I, I just I, I just. I got in my feels about that one because it, it's a freaking it's a freaking foxtail Phillies P. I want that, so I'm like going crazy. Now. I want that hat. I want that hat. So hopefully at some point I'll have a sh I'll have a shot at it. Oh, I was upset. And of all the hats, and hopefully they get a restock. I don't know. I, I'm not like I don't see the New Era site every single day. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But yeah, and it's not 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 in any store. You know, the stores aren't selling it. It's a new era exclusive to their site, I guess. So every now and then you'll get it. You'll get a, a set that comes on newera.com, and then it filters around different stores. You know, wherever you leave it, it live rather. It depends on the team. I I I I, feel, I, I just feel hard. I'm like, damn, how did I not see that when I saw the the, the original picture on newera.com? I got I got I got blinded by the by the tiger print. <laughs> So I'm thinking Tiger. I'm like, damn, he's right. He's, it looks like a foxtail. How did I not? Come on. And why did it have to sell for all the? It's the only hat that sold out of the whole set. Like, ah, come on, no, no. <laughs> ah, like other hats, some sizes are sold out, but they have them. The Phillies is gone. I felt terrible. Like I'm like, oh my god, how did I do that? How did I not see it? Me of all people. I felt bad. I almost didn't go out. You know, I thought maybe if the fox is out, I didn't. You know, probably looking at me a certain way. How did you not know? <laughs> Festive gave me a look. It wasn't a good day. <laughs> right. So I'm hoping at some point I can get that hat. I of all people need that hat. I need that Phillies hat in my life. That the P looks like a fox. I should have. Mm. But anyhow, speaking of hats, I was able to get. So this was Lids. So right now I'm outside of the Cherry Hill Mall in New Jersey. It's a mall that I've like started coming to a little more. I wouldn't say like regular, regular, but I come here, you know, enough. It, it, it's close. It, it, it's not a bad drive uh, from where I live. Normally I'll just go to King of Prussia you know, Springfield, you know, the, the malls that are more closer to me, but I come here every now and then. I also go to the Philly Mills Mall, you know, from time to time. And uh, so this one, this is a good mall. I know there's another mall in Jersey. My buddy Mark M and I, we're gonna, we're gonna make a little pil pilgrimage, I'm guessing maybe next month to these malls, do a little Jersey mall hopping, you know, cause th that's, that's what we do. So <laughs> shout out to Mark M. But this one here, something told me to come here today. Now I originally came here to go because this lids has a has a nice selection. This is probably one of the best as far as overall selection lids. 
um, even more so than the, the lids at the, at the King Impression Mall, you know, for team variety, right? So I came here looking for the Crown Royal. I got the Crown Royal Phillies last weekend at the King Impression Mall lids. I didn't vlog or anything, but I got it. It has the 52 All-Star Pats, fat P on the front, beautiful hat, really nice. Uh, I came here actually looking for the Orioles one because I'm like, that's a Ravens hook. Ooh, I can put that with the Ray Lewis jersey. I'm like, this is just, you know, combo one. But this is what I do. And I do like mixing different teams as far as long as it's the same city, right, or zip code. <laughs> I like doing that. If the color matches, I like doing that, right, because I, I, got, I got Philly's hat for Sixer jerseys, right, Sixer jerseys. You know, you know, the red, white, and blue. You know what I mean, right? So I'm like looking at that Orioles hat. I'm like, ooh, that's Ravens. That's a Ravens hook. I got Ray Lewis jersey. That ooh, that would go nice with it. The Deion Sanders, Ravens in that. Woo! You know, I started thinking. So I'm like, and it's not at my ones, the one that lives near me. It, it, and they're not online. These are in-store exclusives, the Crown Roy collection. I'm like, I need that Orioles. And I can't find it on the secondary market. Let me see if this Liz has it. And they didn't. I knew they have some Oriole hats in here. They didn't have that one. Uh... But this one, this was another one from that set that I had to have. Uh, it's just, something just told me, come come to Cherry Hill today. Originally looking for Orioles, but I found this. I found from the Crown Royal Collection, I found the Diamondbacks. I did not expect to see this here. We don't get a lot of Diamondbacks, you know, hats in this area. Because, you know, it's more of a West Coast team. We, you know, If we get West Coast teams, it's usually the Dodgers. You know, so d the Diamondbacks did not expect to see this. But I'm so glad I did because this was, from that set, this was one of the ones I felt was one of the nicest. I love it. And it's the Diamondback colorway, of course. It works with them. I mean, the Rockies works. The Diamondbacks, right, more so because it is it is the team color. So, I mean, it goes. Look at that. Mm. Oh, my. I did not expect to see this. Did not. But I saw one in the front where they had, like, you know, the new releases, but it was too small. And I, I just made a beeline because I saw purple. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, that, that's where the crown royals are. I ran over there and I grabbed, they had two left. They had my size and they had a, a they had a size that wasn't my size. I forget what size it was, but it was mine. But oh, look at that, mm, come on, huh? Put that with Randy Johnson, with my Luis Gonzalez jersey, Kurt Schilling. Oh my, this is gonna go well. Can he maybe, maybe be able to rock this with a son's jersey? Maybe, maybe I may even I may even put this together with the uh, with the Chris Paul, you know, Valley jersey. Oh, I think it could work. We'll see. I gotta put them together. Then I found this one, another one I just wasn't expecting to see in there. Toronto Raptors. I went purple today for some reason. I guess you know I got the I got the the funky colorway here, the ducks. So you know why not, right? So you got the the Raptors with the with the inaugural though. Oh. I'm not a big uh, white crown, you know, uh, 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 or off-white crown guy, pr primarily just because, you know, these hats can get dirty, and, you know, I sweat in the shade, so, but I had to get this. I had to get this. And this set, yeah, th these are uh, in-store exclusives, I believe, for lids, Mitchell and Ness, but really nice. I haven't been to the flagship since these came out, so I don't know if they have them there, too. Maybe they do. And, of course, if they do, I might grab because there, there's, like, one or two more that I wouldn't mind getting. There's a couple colorways that Mitchell and Ness is. Mitchell and Ness is getting more into the fitted game. They, they learned. They know. <laughs> so there's these fitteds uh, out there for Mitchell and Ness, and you can find them on Liz's website or your local Liz stores. Really nice. Some of them, look, I mean, it's like anything else. Some of them are going to be, like, yeah, we could do without that one. But then they have a lot of really nice ones out there. There's a nice uh, Sixers one, actually. There's a couple nice Sixers ones that I wouldn't mind getting. There's like a, oh, God, like a a brown, you know, uh, all over hat. And it's got the, the Sixer logo with like the, 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 the pink and red, like the, that, that Sixer, like the, the AI era Sixer logo in the pink and red. And that's that to me, that looks like a Valentine's hat. And I almost I would have gotten that if I didn't see the Raptors. I would have gotten that one because I'm like, oh, that'd be nice to wear on Valentine's Day. But uh, they had that one and they had the white. Now, that one's probably the most dangerous for me because it's all white. But it, it, 
Yeah, I'm calling it the Easter hat. It's got, it's white. You can go to lids.com right now. You can see them. It's a whole set of them. They made every team for the NBA. White, everything, right? Brim and crown. And it's got the pink and light blue logo and the side logo. And the Sixers one's nice because it's got the, 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 the full Sixer logo on the front from the AI era. And it's got the Iverson, you know, lifetime six or whatever, like his number on the side. Uh, Forever Sixer or whatever it is, right? Like his retirement number, you know, logo that they did when he when they retired his number years ago. Uh, and now what I'm calling the Easter hat, because that's got Easter vibes written all over that thing. And, and I kind of want to get that one, and I kind of want to get the Timberwolves one too. You know, and there's some others. I mean, it's it's not a fit and it's a snap. And I really would be interested to see if they have them at Mitchell and Ness at the flagship because the hat is, oh. I remember these hats growing up. I think Starter made them, if I'm not mistaken. And it was the Shockwave hat. So it's got like that that crazy design going going up the from the brim all the way up and around. And the, and it's the, the two different colors on either side. You know, I remember I had a... God, what, which, what did I, I, I remember I had one of them, I can't remember the team I had, I think I had one of them growing up, and Mitchell Ness kind of brought those back, and there's a couple that I would like to get, I mean, they're crazy looking hats, they got like, like the shock, like, like you know, they got the shock wave going all over the, like, you know, you have to be an appreciator of those hats to wear, because it's a crazy hat, but I kind of would like to get the, uh, I kind of would like to get the Timberwolves, like, there's a couple teams. There's a couple teams they made that the colors really don't go. Like they did a Warriors one, and it, like I look at it, all due respect to Rez and, and um, you know uh, uh, Bay Area throw Bay Area throwbacks, but it doesn't really say Warriors to me. It's like a darker blue. I, I don't know. It's like they used the logo from like the '90s, and it wasn't a light blue. It was like a darker blue. It's all. It was almost a blue from like the you know, the, the We Believe or something. It was like that darker blue. I'm like, that really doesn't go with that logo. But other ones look really good. The Hawks one looks looks nice. The Sixers one's okay. Um, but I think of that set, the Timberwolves, maybe, I, I'd have to look at them again. There's a few. There, there's a few in that set that I wouldn't mind grabbing over time. Anyhow, yep, 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 yep that, that, that's what I like to do. I have lunch here. That's probably going to get cold by the time I get home, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take a trip. We're gonna go back now. I'm gonna try to do this without GPS. I've been here enough that I think I know how to get back without using GPS. So we're gonna have an adventure. This could get very interesting. I don't know. I might wind up in New York. I I really don't know. You know, maybe I'll visit some of my New York friends over there. You know, you just never know. But shout out to Cherry Hill Lids. I did not expect to see that Diamondbacks there, believe me. And uh, that was something, like I said, man, hey, it's that, the, you, you know, you, you might want to call like that collector's GPS or in, 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 initiative, whatever it is, like, you know, like, 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 like the, 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 was that the Spidey Tingles or whatever the Spider-Man gets, right? It's like something about the collector, like they got that little, got the collector tingles going, right? I'm like, let me go over to the Cherry Hill this morning, you know? Which actually became this afternoon because I didn't get up very early. And then, <laughs> and then I took a shower. I wanted to get up earlier. And I just, you know, I was on late last night with thro with with uh, with Snacks and company on, on Kings of Throwbacks. He did a, he did a live and we were ch chatting it up about all sorts of things. It, it wasn't just jerseys. It got into sports. We had a, Ben Simmons discussion again. It was, uh, <laughs> which by the way, Sixers, do the deal, man. I want James Harden here. I don't care. If anything else, just to end the damn drama of Simmons, I just, I want to, I want to enjoy the season. And it's like that cloud just hanging over the head. I can't enjoy this with Ben Simmons. Get him out. If it's for Harden, okay, I'll deal with it. I'm, I'm good. We, we got it. We got to fast forward this process because Joel Embiid, man, you, you want to get the most of his of his best years. But I, hey, I'm not I'm not gonna get on my soapbox that I've, I've done enough talking about Ben Simmons over the last year or so. But if they if they make the move and I mean I know there's rumors. The only other reason I, I, I want this to get done, I'm tired of all these damn rumors. 
every day Ben Simmons is going to another city. Washington, Sacramento, right? Uh, 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 Indiana, the Lakers, the Celtics, you know, the, the Nets. Like, go someplace. <laughs> Just... I, these damn and, and because it's a trade deadline, it's even more. It's like rumors on steroids now. But I, I think there is some smoke between that. With I think there's some fire there with that smoke, I should say, with uh, Harden because Daryl Morey, you know, was there in Houston with him, and he he's a big Harden fan. And you know, they they I don't, I don't know how close they came, but they were trying to get him last year before he went to Brooklyn. So I do think that there's a lot of you know valid, validity to to uh, to the rumor. And, I mean, it could happen. I mean, because the Nets could lose Harden this offseason for nothing if he doesn't sign the uh, you know the you know extension or whatever with that uh, to, to stay with the Nets. And there's some talk he, he won't now. I mean, you know, things are said all the time. Who knows what's real and who's and what's not? But I do think that there's something there. And if the Sixers can get James Harden, I mean, he's a top seven player in the league, man. You're already pairing him with a top, you know, three player in the league right now in Joel, who could be the MVP this year. I, man, as a Sixer fan, I just want to win. You know, I, that's all I want, you know. Worry about the contract out after the season, after the season, whatever. I think they could get it done for him to stay here, James Harden. And I know he's, he's an older. I mean, he's not like if they got Bradley Beal or they got – um you know, Lillard or one of those guys or, or, or uh, uh, Jalen Brown, you know, that's a younger player. And I, I would, you know, yeah. I mean, if, 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 if there was the choice, like a real legitimate choice between Harden and those guys, yeah, I would take one of those guys because they're younger. But there's really not that choice. There's no guarantee that those players are going to leave those teams this offseason. And if you have a guarantee of getting James Harden for Ben Simmons right now at the deadline, you do it. And that's what it is. Um, but I'm not going to get on my horse about that right now. I've, I've done enough talking about that. I Snack certainly knows I've done enough, enough talking about Ben Simmons for <laughs> probably to last me the rest of my life. But um, anyhow, um, so yeah, I, I didn't get up exactly uh, when I was hoping to this morning. So I got here a little later. I thought about eating lunch here, but man, now I know. <laughs> Oh man, that was a little too crowded in uh, in the uh, in the food court. I'm like, yeah, I'm not eating here. I'm not eating here. So I got some uh, I got some Chinese. You know, I'll, I'll just take that and eat at home. Um, I'm gonna run this light. Don't do this at home, kids. Anyhow, the uh, I'm like, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm already at a certain miles per hour. I'm not stopping, and I do need to get new brakes. That's going to happen in April, before my inspection in May. But um, so yeah, so I came over, man. Something told me I'm like, you know, originally I'm just looking for that Orioles Crown Royal and just to get out for a little bit. You know, I've been having some stuff going on with family. It's been tough. The last couple of weeks have been, you know. So when you can get out and do something, you know, get out of the house a little bit, you know, kind of get out of that 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 you know. Shoot, the notifications are going crazy. It's all my messenger notifications. What the hell's going on? All right, I'm not going to focus on the road, stupid. All right, so, <laughs> man, it's blowing up. It must be toppers. That's what it's got to be, the toppers group. They must be going crazy over something. It's still going on. My God. I'm going to have like 100 messages when I get home. What in the world, man? Some people are going nuts over something. I don't think Ben Simmons just got traded. <laughs> it's not like a bunch of people writing me, hey, Ben Simmons just got traded for James Harden. Man, it is blowing up. Something happened. I'm guessing it's toppers. Even though you're not supposed to talk too much in that group, we, the, the original group, the, the, met, the uh, Facebook Messenger group for toppers, so the members of that community, they would just talk about everything, everything, like their pets. And it was just nonstop. So they remade the group and they said pictures only of the drops for toppers. You can't really talk. <laughs> it just got so annoying. So I can't imagine it's that group. 
Something's going on. I don't know. I don't have the radio on right now because I'm talking to you. So maybe something happened. I'll find out when I get home. It'll be a nice surprise when I get home and finish this video, right? What 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 in the world's going on where messengers blowing up? Um, but no. Um, so I can't. This is something. It's like yeah, get over to Cherry Hill. And I came over to Cherry Hill, and boom, I found that I did not expect to see the Diamondbacks, but I found the Diamondbacks Crown Royal, and. Yeah, that's toppers. Man, Jason, get, get in control of the group, man. <laughs> this thing is blowing up. You're not supposed to really have big conversations in that group. What's going on? But that, <laughs> I mean, the drop today was okay. It was it was a bunch of stuff that's, you know, it's just redrop basically. So I can't imagine it's anything too crazy in the drop today of the four pack of hats. Um, so anyhow, off topic as I usually get, but yeah, I came here, I found that hat, and it's just a nice surprise, was not expecting that, I even reached out to someone I know out in Arizona, if he can find a his list that wasn't there, I did not expect to see this, I was going to get it on a secondary market, and pay just a, probably a little over retail for it, I will never pay those crazy prices that people want for those hats, hundreds of dollars, I mean, come on, man, that, that's just, that is just stupid. That is just ridiculous. For a fitted hat, people want like two, three hundred dollars. That's not happening. I don't care how nice the logo is. But um, no, I will, if if I want it bad enough, I'll go just a hair over retail. I won't go much over. And I've been pretty lucky for the hats that I've really wanted. Um, I haven't had to pay really even over retail for the most part. Uh, maybe if you if you factor shipping in, maybe, but not. You know, not to crazy numbers that some of these hats can go for. Even the Phillies Wild Collection or whatever they're calling that for, uh, you know, for New Era. I, you know, I'm looking for it. If I see it, if I have to pay a bit over retail for that one, I will. But I'm not going to pay $100 for it. No, no. As much as I like it and I see the Fox connection with it now that I didn't see before because of reasons, I, uh... <laughs> I will. I, you know, no, I'm not paying hundred dollars for it, but I'll pay. I'll pay sixty. I'll play. I'll pay seventy for it. You know, but I won't go. I won't go past that. Probably much more past that, at least. Um, but no, I. Um, yeah, man. I just that's why I come. That, that's why I like getting out. That's why I like going to the malls. You know, uh, because uh, because of things like this, you just don't expect. You know, and I always love going to the stores. I love going to the, you know, to the brick and mortar stores because you just, you never know what you're going to find. There's so much out there and you just, you know, and you get a good look at it. You get it in your hand, you, particularly with the hats, man. You can put them on. You can say, all right, you know, this, this was better than I thought it would. You know, sometimes you make decisions that way that maybe you wouldn't just by seeing it in, on, on a picture on the, on the uh, internet, right? Um, but I like getting out, you know, and I, I love going to malls, it's something that, that's never going to stop, you know. Even when I can't really get anything, I just like to go, you know, to see what's out there, take some mental notes for my next, you know, billing cycle. Okay, well, this might be something I want to get if it's still available. Man, he's fast and furious. He is too. Where's Dom? And he... <laughs> Anyhow, um, no, that, that, that's why I love to come, man. It's just, it's just what has always been enjoy, enjoyable for me. All right, now I have to pay attention. All right, I have to, I have to, I have to get over. I'm going to be fast and furious right here. I'm just going to be furious. All right, here we go. Ben Franklin Bridge, that's what I want. So... Good thing I've come here a few times, man. I'm, I'm getting more used to this, right? Like, for me, this is a big trip. I don't really go out too much, like, outside of my, you know, zip code. So, for me, getting out to just over the Ben Franklin Bridge is is, is, is okay. <laughs> Slim knows. He's still, he's still telling me I need to come visit him. I will. I want to. But I will. Someday. We'll make it happen, so don't worry. 
Um, but no, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy going to different malls. I like looking around. It's fun for me. All right, where's my Easy Pass Lane? Easy Pass Lane. Over here, I think. Yep. All right, guy in front of me doesn't know which one he wants to use. Okay, now, now we're good. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is like always super cool for me when that gate lifts. It's like I'm special. <laughs> it let me through. I can leave New Jersey. <laughs> it let me out. <laughs> oh man. So listen, I don't want to. I don't want to get on my soapbox. I, listen, this topic's come up a few times in, in our community. I kind of saw it this week. I don't want to say the guy was Jersey shamed, but you know. So in the Kings of Throwback group, someone posted a picture of his. I guess his recent pickups, all swing man, you know, Mitchell Ness jerseys. And there were some guys in the group, listen, I, I gave it a like. I just, you know, I didn't say anything. I just, you know, you, you got to be happy with what you have. And some people in the group were, you know, they were getting on him a little bit, you know. And listen, when, I'm not going to say his name. Good guy, you know, real knowledgeable, has a real passion, you know, loves getting these jerseys, the customization ones done. Right, was you know making the you know making the the the, uh, the post uh, you know a, a, a reply to his post on you know why you know you don't have to go swing man you can get custom jerseys they're easy to do you can go to you know true custom on IG you you can find. You know him and, and get these done and every single one of these the ones that was done in a swing me you can get the you know uh, 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 authentic looking jersey you know with uh with true custom and why would you know i don't want i don't want to say he was saying why would you get this but it's almost like you know you there's other options out there besides swing man you know you you can You, you can go in, in in a different in a different uh, uh, in, in a different lane, right? So I'm gonna have to get over. So so why would you you know why would you go swing man you know? And listen, the guy, you know, just posted a picture of his pickups. He's happy with what he got. I know. I, as, as someone who's been in the game for many years, I know there's plenty of other options. I do have some Swingman jerseys, and look, I'm not... I'm not a hater. You know, I'm not a hater of the Swingman stuff. I have some. Now, if I had the option, maybe more so now than even a year or so ago at doing custom work with guys like True Custom or you know, rivalry sportswear and getting these jerseys done. If Mitchell Ness isn't gonna do an authentic line of it, you can get the custom jerseys and they cost about a little over 200 bucks, whatever each, 250, whatever it is each. I haven't bought anything from True Custom yet. I will probably at some point this year. I know what he does. He does immaculate work and so does rivalry. You know, I just got some, a, a nice, uh, you know, some nice uh, jerseys back from rivalry a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm real happy to have gotten them. And I'm sure when I get the stuff from True Custom, I'm going to be happy with them too. And yes, there's outlets out there to get these jerseys done that you don't have to go the swingman route with Mitchell and Ness. But at the same time, not everyone, listen, pe people are going to collect the way they want. And I, I'm a firm believer in you buy what you want. You buy what makes you happy. You don't, you shouldn't have to worry about posting these pictures on these groups and then being, I don't want to say bombarded, but almost jersey shamed in a way like, hey, why did you get this when you can get that and this? And I know, listen, the old heads, look, the people who have been in the game a long time, like that person that reached out to him via reply, myself, Snacks, you know, Slim, Nostalgia Boy, Raz, 
all these guys, right? All these guys have been in the game for many years. We know. We know that there are many different outlets out there. You, you know, why go after the Stefan Mulberry Timberwolves, you know, uh, uh, Mitchell Ness Swingman, when you can just reach out to True Custom and have him do it? You know, have him do it, and it takes a couple months, right? Not everyone's thinking that way, you know. Other people are like, yeah, I just want to get this jersey because I like Stephon Murray. I just want the jersey. It's a jersey. It's not a fake. I mean, a swing, it's a, it's a legit Mitchell Ness jersey. It's just a swing man. You know, that's what they get, and, and, and they're happy with it. I don't think we as a community should be... In a way, I get it. it there's an educational purpose, purpose for it. We're trying to say, listen... You can get this jersey, and for a bit more than what you paid for that jersey, you can get a better quality jersey, and here are the reasons. This is this and this and this, right? But we know that. But at the same time, it's like, listen, if person XYZ wants to get their jerseys and, 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 and you know catch a sale on Fanatics or Lids or Mitchell Ness and get these Swingman jerseys, and they're happy with it, and they're showing pictures and they're, you know, they're just, you know, happy to have the jersey. I don't think us as a community, we should try to downplay it and say, hey, why did you get this when you can get that? You can get this and you can have it done this way and the twill and the this and the that. People, listen, as much as we care about that kind of thing, there's a lot of people that just don't. They're not looking at twill. They're not looking at cut. They're not looking at jerseys a certain way like we are, you know? I mean, even me, I'm talking, I, I got Swingmans. You know, I I just bought one last night. <laughs> you know, the Nike, the Nike Chris Paul one, just because it was available, right? Now that's a newer jersey. I can't reach out the true custom or rivalry or, and say, hey, I want a custom done the Valley Suns jersey. Because they're not going to do that, right? So for me, I have two options. I have an authentic or I have Swingman. And yes, there are more options at the Swingman version of the jersey than the authentic. They don't make everything an authentic, or they don't make every player an authentic. So you're kind of, you know, at the mercy, you're kind of limited now. There's always the, well, but they could do more authentic, and it's true. They could. I don't work for Nike. You know, I, I can't tell you why they don't make everything in authentic form. Why certain, like the city jerseys, why they don't do all of them in authentic or the throwback jerseys rather. When they do throwback jerseys, it's usually only the swingman versions. I don't know why, I can't tell you why, but if I like the jersey enough and it's a player that I want, or for me, I'm trying to, you know, whatever the Sixers wear and Steph Curry. So I want all their jerseys. And if I have to go swingman for it, that's what I do. And people have told me, hey, why are you getting that? It's a swing man. Like, well, because I'm a collector. Because I want all of I want all of uh, Steph Curry's jerseys. And they don't make all of them in authentic form. But I still want it. Because I'm, I'm trying to get all, as many of his jerseys as I can. The Sixers, whatever the Sixers wear, whatever new City Edition jersey or throwback or whatever they do in the Nike era now, I want them. Because I'm a Sixer, and, and, and more so with Steph, I'm a Steph Curry fan. But with the Sixers, I'm a Sixer fan. That's my team. You know, I live in, I'm passing Philly right now. I'm in the Philly area. That's my squad as much as they let me down. <laughs> Losing that Hawks series last year. That, that, that still gets me. But uh, I'm a Sixer fan. They wear a new jersey. I want to get that jersey, whether it's an authentic, whether it's a swing man. I just, I want the jersey. I want to wear it and be happy with it. And I'm not going to get on my soapbox and say the way I do it is correct. Because I have a collection of over 900 jerseys. Most of my collection is authentic. Most of my Mitchell Ness collection is authentic. I have Z-Racks full of authentic Mitchell Ness jerseys. And maybe I have a little portion on one of those Z-Racks with Swingman Mitchell Ness jerseys. I have them. Now, me as a collector, am I going to look and say, oh, I just want this Swingman, that Swingman... I, I am looking more for authentics. And I know that there's outlets like True Custom, like Rivalry, where I can get an authentic looking jersey that's done just immaculately. And I only have to spend, 
you know, up front with, I think, True Customs, like 50 bucks a jersey. And then after the jerseys are completed, if I remember the process correct, after the jerseys are completed, then you, then you, uh, you pay the rest. So I don't even have to pay it all up front. I can reach out to the True Custom and say, all right, I want this, this, this. All right, this is what it's going to be up front. All right, boom, done. And then the rest, you know, he collects after it's completed. So if it's in a few months time, this is again is what I've heard. I haven't dealt with them yet, but I will. It is a venue that it is an avenue rather where I I, I want to, you know, I want to give him some of my business because he does great work. He seems to be a great guy. No one has ever said anything against what they do. And every jersey I've seen, whether it's Nostalgia Boy or or J Dub, shout out to them, or anyone else in our groups that have shown the true custom custom jerseys they all look incredible you know and i know from you know dealing with it with it with a custom maker and rivalry i know the type of product that i'm going to get so it's well worth my money you know to buy from these outlets and sure i can tell you oh yeah that jersey that i get from mac or bought from true custom or an authentic mitchell ness or an authentic nike or authentic whatever old old run champion or whatever whatever brand you want to give reebok whatever yeah it's going to be better it's going to look better and in some ways it might even feel better than a swingman but if i have the option and my only option is all right i have to get this in the swingman form i bought it as a collector i'm going to get it and i don't want to feel like i have to be jersey shamed for having this jersey in my collection where i have mostly authentics again it's a more problem with the retailer that they're not making more authentics. I don't know why they don't make more authentics. And I get that that's what people want. It, obviously, the demand is there. You know, The other thing I've always heard is, well, if you just stop getting these jerseys, then they won't make them again. Listen, I, I don't want to sound a certain way about this. Listen, we jersey heads represent a very small port, port, part of the pie for these retail companies. We can stop getting them, okay? We can stop getting them. We can say we're not buying any more Swingman jerseys from Mitchell and Ness or Nike, right? Companies aren't gonna stop making them because those jerseys are still gonna sell because people who aren't jersey heads are still gonna buy them. And those are the people, whether we like it or not, in the jersey head community, those are the people that represent those brands' biggest seller. It's not us. I wish it was. There was a time back in the day when it was just all authentics, you know, the, the, the old gold stuff that came out back in the Peter Capolino days. Look, that stuff was made and a lot of the buyers were collectors and, 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 and you know, Jersey heads, you know, the, were us. Then it was other people too because it was the thing. It was the fad. It was the thing to wear, right? Because you saw it on the magazines, the hip hop magazines, and then the, and, the, and, the, and the music videos and what have you. So that's why they it, it blew it, that company up. And Peter did a great thing back then. But listen, that was a stroke of genius back then to do what they did because they had free pub. Those those uh, uh, well known artists, musicians that were wearing those jerseys, that was their advertisement. They didn't advertise. Mitchell Ness does not advertise. You don't see Mitchell Ness commercials on TV. You don't hear Mitchell Ness commercials on the radio. Maybe every now and then during a sale, you'll hear like the local sports talk channel talking about it or whatever. But for the most part, they just don't. They Their advertising is people, is people wearing their product, right? And they have the Abercrombie and Finch looking models wearing the stuff, but it is what it is. I, they don't want me wearing it. That's bad Baywatch. <laughs> right? They got they got the models that look like they just came out of the gym wearing their stuff. I know. I get it. I see it. But but no. The uh, Listen, it, it is. Their advertisement is people wearing their stuff. And in a lot of ways, listen, I get it. In a lot of ways, I'm wearing their hat right now. The Jersey heads, the people in our community have been their best advertise because you see us we're visible we're on youtube like me right now we're on instagram showing stuff we're on you know different other outlets some people do tiktok i don't do tiktok but some people do tiktok they're wearing mitchell and Ness stuff right 
Bling King does it, right? That's, look, you, you see them. You, you see the product. You know what it is. We don't get paid by them, you know? They haven't even, they haven't even reached out to us and said, hey, you know, thanks for all you guys do. Here's a little something, right? Something, something, right? But I'm not, I don't wear the stuff for that. You know, I'm not, and I don't want to sound that way. Listen, I'm, I'm not, hey, I'm thankful that I get to go to that store because I live close enough. I can go there and I can pick stuff up, you know, whether it's a sale, whether it's something I just got to have, you know, authentic wise. And I'm going there and I'm grabbing it like I did the, uh, like I did the, um, the, the rookie Pedro Martinez last year, Dodgers, or the uh, the, the alternate Nuggets, uh, Navy Blue, Carmelo Anthony. I think those were the last two jerseys I got at the store to date. You know, I haven't gotten any other jerseys from there since then. I think. I think. So I can't quite remember when I got that, uh, those two. I, I can't remember if it was before or after Father's Day. I know I picked up a few things during the Father's Day sale. I know for sure I got that Teal Marino with the anniversary patch on there. Um, at that time, and uh, I was having a visit by uh, Slim and Adam. Shout out to, to those two. Hey, Adam, right? But uh, yeah, I uh, I get it, man. I, I know that in this community, we want to feel that our voices are going to carry. That we're going to hey, if we say all right, no more swingmans, and that's what's going to happen. But you know, more than likely, it's not. More than likely, it's just going to keep doing what they do. And they've been coming out with stuff that, I mean, look, it's eye roll. I mean, snacks, we, we were looking at that District of Columbia, I think, jersey, like wizard colorway. It wasn't really a wizard's jersey. It was a jersey. It was like a basketball jersey. Well, it wasn't really a, a wizard's jersey. It was this, like, town pride or whatever it was. And we're looking at there like, there's no way <laughs> we're wearing this, right? But people do. And there's, there's obviously, there, there's a connection with people for it. On the model they had in that, in that, I guess, whatever they were, they were showing it on their page or what, at social media, he had like a denim jacket on over it. And we know in the Jersey Head community that, that for the most part, he, look, if you wear a jersey, you want people to see the jersey. I'm not wearing a jacket. Like, I, I'm not wearing a jacket today. It's February. But I wear a hockey jersey, so I know it's a little heavy. <laughs> right? I want, I, want, I want people to see the jersey. I'm not going to put a jacket on over this, right? So, no, I'm not wearing a denim jacket over a jersey, okay? No matter what the jersey is. A denim jacket's not going over that jersey. But that's how they were. Ooh, this guy got caught. Ooh, he was bad, bad. Ooh, we got him in cuffs. Who knew that watching this video on YouTube, it would turn into cops? <laughs> yeah, got caught. Yeah, he was in cuffs. Maybe that wasn't the model, so I don't know. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see on this channel. So you got to tune in all the time. You got to leave those likes. You got to subscribe and hit the bell icon because you don't want to miss this stuff. I had cops going right on. I had an episode of cops on the, driving home, and you were able to see that. Come on. Where, did, where else do you get this? <laughs> Welcome to Philly. Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. He got caught. He thought he can get away. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> come on, man. Ah, oh, you never know what you're gonna see driving down the Schuylkill. Welcome to Philly. Come on. <laughs> I'm completely lost in train of thought now. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's it for me. No. Bottom line is listen. Listen. Wear what makes you happy. If you're a person that just collects swingman jerseys because that's what you can afford, wear the hell out of them, man. Wear what you want. Me as a collector, I dabble in a lot of different things, mainly authentics. And I will say this, I said it before, where I will be more staunch about it is baseball because I want the authentic baseball jerseys, okay? 
The replica ones, not so much. I want the authentics because they have all the other stuff, right? They have the stitching that's on point. You got the other logos. You got numbers. You got all the patches, everything that's going on. But, man, it, listen, that's me. That's where my, I guess, my, uh, 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 you know, where, where I go the most lean towards the authentic than anything else. And like I said, again, owning the amount of jerseys that I own, most of my collection is authentic stuff. But I do have some Swingman jerseys, and I probably will get more Swingman jerseys down the road as long as Nike is not putting them out in authentics for certain teams or players. But you don't see a lot of authentic Joel B jerseys, even just the regular icon and association jerseys. I don't know why. The guy's going to be an MVP candidate for a second straight year. You would think they would have more of the, you know, the, the, the authentics. I think it would be really funny if the Sixers get James Harden and they pump out a James Harden authentic Sixers jersey when they haven't made a Joel Embiid. That would be kind of interesting, but I don't work for Nike. So I get what is available for me to get. And, you know, again, I don't want to step on toes. Believe me, hey, I'm not, I'm not saying if you're one of those that just wants the authentic jerseys, that's awesome. Then you get it. And, you know, if you feel, oh, I can't, I miss out on this style because it's not an authentic, it's just swingman, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not, hey, listen, this is the end of life series. I will never tell anyone how to collect. You're seeing how I collect. I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to get on a soapbox and, 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 and tell people how, that, because I'm doing it this way, this is how everybody has to do it. In fact, I kind of, I kind of like that. Most people don't do it my way, so that I, I can get more stuff. But, uh, <laughs> right? But, listen, I, I'm, I'm one person. I've been collecting for a long time, as we know. And, and, and this is part of, you know, this is part of my life, which is why I wanted to do this series. It's a big part of my life. I'm not on E-Harmony. I'm, I'm not looking. Listen, I know Valentine's Day is, is, is next Monday. I can't even tell you the last time I was on one of those sites. Which, by the way, in those commercials, I mean, talk about people looking like they just got out of the gym. Every single one of those eHarmony commercials, they, they're, they're all these, like, perfect-looking people, right? You, you can tell that, yeah, this is this is all this model, that model together. Oh, I found this person on eHarmony. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> sure, sure you did. Sure, I've been on there. I know. I know. It's not, it, it's not as easy as those commercials like that. And I, I know they do it so that people join so they're trying to get you to join when i was on there man it just turned into a lot of misery it's like why am i writing all these different and i never hear anything back why am i doing this this isn't fun for me let me just go back to what is fun for me so i said like a few years ago i'm like you know what i'm not even gonna look heck with it i'm happy i'm happy with the single life i get to do whatever i want to do this is the life i'm choosing to live I have someone that comes along, you know, whatever, whatever. I know Snacks keeps, he keeps telling me one day you're going to be in Mitchell and Ness and this, you're going to bump into the right woman in there and it's going to be hearts and flowers and, and you know, <laughs> birds are going to be singing. <laughs> I'm like, Snacks, from your mouth to Cupid's ears, but I, I can't, I, listen, listen. It, this is the life that I'm choosing to live. I'm having too much fun in it. So why would I, well, you know, I don't even try. I know this time of year a lot of single people are like, oh, I want to find that right person. And they go on eHarmony and all these different sites. And you throw money away and, you know, you you write all these people that never write back. It's, 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 it's really, it's, it's like a depressing site. It, it just, it's all these people, they all seem friendly. And, and, oh, this, I want to meet this, I want to meet that. And then you write and it's like, okay, well, obviously, you don't know how to write back the messages, so uh, <laughs> what's the point of this? People have had success on there. I'm not saying no one has ever had success. And shout out to people who found their true love on those sites. But I know, man, I was on there. Yeah, it's just a lot of, it, it, it's a lot of heart, heartbreak, you know, it's what, it, it's a lot of misery. Like, I don't want to be miserable. There's too much other misery in life. I don't want to be miserable doing this this is something that i can avoid being miserable at so i'm going to avoid being miserable at again at, at, at this time right all right so you have to be an old old philly 
head to, to know this reference, right? So I'm sitting in a light. Now you got Action News Channel 6 van in front of me. So you know, I, I grew up at that era. I, I have to say it. I have to say it when it goes by. And only the old heads, your old old head Philly heads are gonna know this, this reference, right? So here here it comes. There goes that news van again. This used to be their thing on TV all the time. You see the action news van, and there goes that news van again. You again, you have to be you have to be some of my age. You have to appreciate that reference. And if you're not, now you heard it. There goes that news van again. So <laughs> we're having fun, right? It was on the Schuylkill guy was getting cuffed. We got the action news van probably going there right now to film news at eleven. Yeah, mighty fan driving around. And I found my way back without using GPS. I'm a man. I'm a man now. <laughs> I almost took one wrong turn. <laughs> yeah, look at now, no GPS this time. I know exactly where I'm going. It's a good feeling. Of course, I've only been there about four or five times before I could come back without using GPS. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. <laughs> oh god we are having fun how, how long is this so far oh my god over an hour people are enjoying this you don't know how lucky you are right now where else would you rather be than right here right now watching me talking to you on youtube i know you would this this you don't get this content you duh you you don't i'm telling you this is the best damn thing you, you, you can see because you just never know what the end of life series is going to bring. Never know. I just needed those guys in the motorcycles to drive by. Right in Philly. You know, the, 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 <laughs> the dirt bikes. That's what we need. <laughs> I wasn't completely in the city. If I was in the city, I guarantee you, you would have had a few guys doing the wheelies on the, on the dirt bikes driving by. You know? It's, yeah, it's welcome to Philly. This is what happens. Dirt bikes come by. <laughs> Quads and all that. Oh, come on. I keep wanting one of those guys to fall off. Every time they're doing the wheelie, I just, just once, just fall off that, oh, that would be, that would be beautiful. Uh, I don't drink. This is me normally, okay? So, <laughs> um, so, Bottom line, my, my main point here is, listen, me, I know, I know there's other outlets and avenues where you can get jerseys, and yeah, you have to pay a little more than a swingman, but you're paying for quality. I know I could do that. I can hit up True Custom. I've gotten stuff from Rivalry, right? It, authentic stuff. Yeah, that I would rather have that, but if I just don't have the option, and this is my option for Nike or what have you, then that's what it's going to be. You know, I'm happy to have it in the collection. At least it's there. You know, I can put it in with the rest of them of this of this certain collection, and, and, and there it is. It's on the. It's in with my other, you know, Joel Embiid or Steph Curry jerseys or Chris Paul jerseys, whether it's the authentic or swingman. Um, but not everyone listen that. And I am one of those. Like I said, I'd rather the authentic. And where I can get the authentic, I get it. But, I, you know, people don't all look, you know, not everyone thinks that way. I don't know if anyone should ever think that way. You know, you see something, if you like it, you get it. It's like a food. You know, you, you know you, what you like. The food might not be for everybody, but you like it, so you eat it. And every time you have a chance at it, you get it. You might get some looks from friends, like, what the heck are you eating? But if you enjoy it, man, eat it. Be, you know, and live it up. Just, you know, this life. Listen. And again, I don't want to, you know, soapbox here, but you, you have one chance at, at a life. You gotta just make the most of it and do what makes you happy. And you know, like I said, the jersey shaming, the stuff that happens. I try to stay away from it. It's really not my place. I, I you know, I, 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 I don't. You know. I, I appreciate what people show because it, it, it's what they're happy with. You know, it's like the whole thing, why have why get snapbacks when you can get fitted hats? Fitted, you just have to have fitted. I mean, look, you wear what you want to wear. You're happy with it, you're happy with it. There's a whole community of people who are fitted 
outfitted only. There's a whole community of people who are snapback only, right? You wear what you're happy with. That's that's what it is, you know. But anyhow, back to I guess one of my other original topics that I really didn't touch on, and I'll be home in about five minutes um, from here, uh, maybe seven or eight minutes with these lights. But I, uh, I, you know, about getting stuff every month. Yeah, I mean, you know, I gotta be better. Uh, you know, try not to use two cards, two two credit cards as I was doing, which was not a good idea. You know, I was in a nosedive there. I had to pull myself out of it, and I'm still pulling myself out. You know, I'm still pulling myself out of it. But it's something that I know I have to do, and I know I have to be better at. And it will get there, you know. It's like a wake-up call and say, hey, you know, pull yourself out of this nosedive you're in. And it's a hard thing to do. When you're used to living a certain way, doing things a certain way, and you want to make a change, it's a tough thing to do is to make that change. It's a tough thing, but I know I have to do it. I have to better myself for it. I still want to get some stuff, limit what I do, right? A couple things a month, maybe, jersey-wise, a few hats, and try to grow my savings more. You know, get in a better financial spot so I don't have to worry about bills. And like I said before, man, collecting is not for everybody. The people that could not handle this. It's hard enough for me to handle it. I've been doing it for, for, for a long time. But you have to have that moment of, hey, I got to do what's best for me. As much as I love this stuff, you know, and I am always one of those people that likes to get moldable things every month. Every, you know, I always say in my billing cycle, I try to get moldable things to show what I enjoy. Hey, this is why the pickups, this is this and that. But, you know, I know I have to get better with it and uh, be in a better spot than I am, you know, at this point financially. Not that I'm doing terrible you know i'm not in, in in danger of losing the house or something like that or my vehicle or anything like that but i don't want to get to that kind of point you know when you look at your bank account and it's you know it, it's not where it should be you know and, and you have to kind of have that moment where you're telling saying hey as much as i love this stuff i gotta do better by me i gotta do better so that i don't have to oh that was a bad pothole thank god i missed it uh, I don't have to uh, worry about paying this utility bill or that car payment or, you know, mortgage or this or that, you know. I don't want to be in that situation. It almost happened. It almost happened. I had to pull myself out. Pull myself out of it. And uh, like I said, it's still, I'm still coming out of that nosedive. I'm still, you know, I know I showed a few things, but believe me, there's a lot of stuff I held off on. That there was one thing that actually showed up on, on the NHL uh uh, 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 shop and it was on sale I was so close to pulling that trigger and it's like the old me would have done it no, I wouldn't even thought of it because it, it was a jersey that was out last year the team's not wearing it anymore and it was on sale because the shop was having a sale at the time and I'm like oh, I really want to get this and I'm like you know what I can't, I can't. you know that's just the old me that's the old me. That, let me wait. Let me wait a few weeks. Get to my next cycle. See where see where it is. Right. If it's still there, I can grab it then. Right. It took everything I had to do it. And people watching this might not understand because it's not really what you do, right? But this is what I do. As a, you know, you have to. You have to be. You know, you do have to be mindful of that kind of stuff. And I grabbed the Chris Paul yesterday because, it, and it was a cheaper jersey than that that hockey jersey was, but it, it was one of those that I knew I missed on it before, and it, you know, I didn't want to miss on it a second time, and it was cheaper than the hockey jersey was. So the hockey jersey, if it's still there, you know, and 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 there's only like my size available. It's the only size available. That was what made it even tougher. It's there, and the only size left is my size. But I had to just say, hey, you know what? It, if, if, it, if it, my mom always used to say, if it's in your luck, you know, if it's in your luck. So if it's in my luck, it will be there ne next billing cycle, and I can grab it then. And if not, there is about ten billion things on my hit list <laughs> anyhow. But that was one of those things. That it would have been, um, it would have been a uh, impulsive purchase. It really would have that hockey jersey 
it's not really something that was totally on my radar before but it's a nice looking jersey it's definitely one i would like to have but it wasn't like on my you know, like I said, I have that Excel spreadsheet, right, of the jerseys I want to be able to get and, you know, try to do it month by month. It wasn't on there, you know, and it was just one of those that just popped up. I kind of saw it randomly. It was on sale. I'm like, yeah, this is nice. You know, I would like to, but then I'm like, you know what, I've already done X amount this this cycle. Eh, you know, let me not grab that. And you know what, it worked out. If I would have grabbed that, I couldn't have gotten this Chris Paul. I wouldn't have been able to get it. I would have missed out on it a second time. So, you know, that impulsive urge is what I'm trying to control a little more. That impulsive urge, kind of knowing what you want the most. These are the things, hey, this is your next cycle coming up. Let's try to, fo let's try to, uh, uh, you know, figure what is the thing that you, you want to be able to go after. What, what are the two, you know, if I had to pick two jerseys a month, these are the two. This, this is something that has to happen. It's on my list. It's not something that's just, I feel like an impulse buy. It's something that I know has, a, has meaning to me. I want to make sure it happens. And if I can keep to that, then I feel I'll be in a better spot. And I can do better financially too. Um, so that's where I'm trying to get. My ultimate goal is that by the spring, by the late spring into the summer, I'll be in a spot financially where I really don't have to worry about any bills. I don't have to worry about all oh, this, you know, the cable bill, this, that, you know. I don't want to have to do that. And I don't want to put myself in a situation where I have to worry about, where I have to continue to say, oh, you know, I got this coming up, I got that credit card, and, you know, and you, and you get, you know, it's like you worry yourself sick. And I don't want to be in that situation. So my, that's, my, that's my goal is to get to that point. Where, all right, stuff's there. I'm paying it no problem. Boom, I'm still able to get stuff that I want to get, jerseys, hats. But I'm able to pay off these without any worry, you know. I'm at a point in my life, listen, I'm going to be 44 this August. I, I don't want to have to worry all the time. <laughs> I want to be able to just enjoy my life I want to be able to enjoy it and just live and be happy I have to worry about stuff and still be able to collect still do the things I want to do but just be happy done it be, be try to be as stress-free as I can and it's I can never be completely stress-free I don't think anybody can ever be completely stress-free because stuff's always gonna happen stuff's gonna come up but I got to do a better job at uh, at managing the finances and I know that I that I can do a better job it's going to take some work it's going to take some you know it, it's going to take missing out on some stuff but I you know that this is what I got to do this is where I got to be better and I say that to say this I you know for people out there who's watching this who stuck with me here for over an hour <laughs> on this very long uh in the life try to live as stress-free as you can I know it's hard and for some it's harder than others but if you can get yourself in that great situation <clears throat> financially and still be able to collect and still be able to do the things that make you happy oh, there's that one commercial I forget who it, what commercial I think it's State Farm you hear those uh, radio commercials right where the person is saying, oh, I have to cancel my gym membership, or I have to, I have to stop drinking this kind of coffee, or whatever, right? And the, the State Farm guy's like, Oh, well, you don't have to do that. You're, you're, you know, you have, to, you know, you just have to, met, you know, we, we, you know, work around ways of this payment, that payment, whatever, right? With with State Farm, right? State Farm kind of gives you that option, I guess, to pick your pick your plan or whatever it is, right? That 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 works with your lifestyle or whatever it is, right? I don't have State Farm, but. So my, my biggest hope going forward is I can get to a point where I really don't have to, you know, dread these different payments that I have to make month to month, you know, get in a better spot with my credit card situation where I'm not overdoing it with, with multiple cards, I'm using one card, I'm managing that better. It's always easier to manage one card than two anyhow. Two cards, it's just... There's a lot of balancing going on. There's a, there's a, it's a balancing act, you know? So I want to do better there. And you know what? I just want to be able to, 
I want to be able to still collect and do what I do, but I want to do it in more of a of a uh, controlled manner. You know, still getting the things that you know, identifying those things every month. That okay, this has, this is a must. That's a must. What can I hold off on? What can I wait? You know, and yeah, and a lot of time, a lot of ways, it is playing Russian roulette with it, but I'm doing it in my way. You know, trying to find a better way of managing how I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, collecting, and also, um, you know, managing the bills for the house and for the vehicle and whatever bills may come my way. It's a tough thing. It's a tough thing. And that's what one of the reasons I wanted to do this series, as I've said many a time, is to um, you know, show people that yeah, I mean, this is a this is an awesome thing to be able to do, but at the same point, you know, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of obstacles and there's a lot of uh you know, just decision making. There's things you you get. There's things you don't get. There's it, it, it's it's a lot. It, it's a lot involved in, in just picking up things that you have interest in. And if you're not careful, it can really hurt you financially. It really can. And um, you just gotta do the best you can with it. And I know it's hard. And people who are just starting, you know, please, you know. Don't make those mistakes, you know. Go always collect within your means of collecting, you know. Don't feel like you have to get X amount of things because other people in the community get X amount of things, you know. Know your limitations, know where you are financially. The best thing you can ever do is, is, is be financially sound, you know. I have the house I have, I have the vehicle I have because I am, but at the same time, now that's more, that's more responsibility. There's more bills and stuff. There's more of this. Stuff happens that you got to be ready for. Um, and I almost put myself in a bad spot. And, and I, you know, I was able to hit that pause button, hit that, hit the brakes at just the right time and try to get out of that nosedive that I was in. It was a hard thing to do. And uh, it will continue to be a hard thing, but I know it's right for me. You know, and... Uh, Again, that's part of the reason I won't be going after jerseys next week at the sale. And I also know that there'll be other sales down the road. So if I miss out on this one, it's like a train station. You're just waiting for that next train. Even though in my case, I guess I've been at the station for a bit. <laughs> as far as the store's concerned, if I didn't get any jersey at the Black Friday deal, and I'm not getting one next week, I might get a few hats. But I'm just going to keep it, you know, keep it to a, to a, to a lesser level of expenditure. And it also allows me to do other things like I did today. Like I got that Chris Paul, like I got the, I got another Jersey and I got a David Ortiz twins Jersey uh, a couple weeks ago off eBay. He blink King. He, he can't hold that one over my head anymore. Blink King knows. He knows. He would, he, he would, he would throw that at me every now and then because he got it from a collector before I can get it. Yeah. It took, it took a little bit. I got one. Don't worry, I got his call up your jersey too. I got that 97 with the Jackie patch. Huh? Can't hold that one over my head anymore. <laughs> I'll show it in an upcoming pickup fit. I'll wait till that um, CP3, the Valley jersey comes in and I'll show those then. But um, anyhow, thanks for watching this marathon. Almost an hour and a half, my God. But, I mean, a little bit of a trip coming back from Cherry Hill. I didn't use my GPS. That's a win. That's a win for me. I, I you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't really use GPS if I'm doing this video. All right, I've been here enough times. I think I know how to get back. I'm good. All right. Yeah, no GPS coming back. That that was good. That was good. We saw a guy getting cuffed. We. <laughs> We saw that news van again, but uh, yeah, like I said, you never know what you're going to see in the in in in, uh, in the Mighty Fan Channel. So thanks for joining in. Thanks for tuning in yet again. This big long video. Uh, I, I enjoyed doing what I enjoy doing, talking about what I love. Uh, I know we talked on a couple topics, what to buy, how to buy, how to manage, you know, finances a bit. I'm never going to give you financial help okay i'm not a i'm not a financial analyst by any means i'm just trying to do what's best for me you know um anyhow ah, 
That's why I was like, I, I thought I turned the, the, the heat off. It was still kind of hot in here. Like, why is, oh, it wasn't all the way turned off. Okay. The elevator doesn't always go all the way up with me sometimes. So, you know, you have to... and I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to have my you know, little, not as warm Chinese food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat that and uh, enjoy that. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna visit with my mom. My mom is doing is doing good. She was having some health issues, uh, and she's doing better now, and that's a good thing. Uh, it was really it was a stressful thing the last few weeks, but she's doing a bit better, and I'm gonna go do that later today. And yeah, that's it for this episode of In the Life. Thank you all for joining as always. Uh, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, um, the views. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell icon. Like I said, I mean, you know, look, you just never know what you're going to see in these videos. You never know. I did not think that cops are going to break out as I'm driving. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> that was... <laughs> Yeah, you never know, right? You go out, you travel, but you just never know what you're going to see. Um, all right, everyone. Thanks as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, uh, um, whatever episode I want to do here on my YouTube channel. Take care.